Hey guys, Rohan Pinto here, um, coming to you today to talk about dropshipping. All right. So, what is dropshipping? First of all, dropshipping is, uh, I mean, if you're uh, the owner of a dropshipping store, you basically act as a middleman between the sellers and the buyers. All right. So, the sellers are the ones who hold the inventory and they have their products and they want to sell them online. Okay. You, as a dropping dropshipping show uh, store owner, you advertise the products on your website. Uh, you set up whatever margin you want on top of it. When the buyers buy from your website, you execute the order by placing it with the seller and shipping it directly to the buyer. Okay. So you don't hold any inventory. Okay. And you just keep the profits once the item is delivered. Okay? Pretty straightforward. Uh, it's a good way of uh, doing business online. Not a lot of, uh, what do you say, man hours required to um, do this. All right. And, uh, you know, it's a good way of building. Uh, another source of income if you're ever interested in it okay so let's talk about aliexpress okay so aliexpress is based off of wordpress okay so the entire website is um built on wordpress okay and ali dropship is a plugin okay which you can see over here all right so first of all how do you go about getting your store okay once um i'll be leaving a link below my video that you can click Okay, and once you click that link, it takes you to the um, website where you can purchase your store. Okay, so there are three different kind of packages. You can go over the information and, you know, buy the one that fits your needs. I bought the ultimate package. Okay, because um, you can host a lot of products. Okay, you get all the tools uh, to help you with your social media. Okay, you have an auto poster in... Um, in a, in a in a in a plugin called social rabbit okay so and you know and other features as well once you take you take some time to read through the different um uh, packages you can see what's uh, uh what is offered by one package and not the other and according to that you can select what fits your needs um so let's talk about social rabbit right now since i mentioned it now social rabbit is a, a social media tool that helps uh, auto post for you on various channels like Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter. Okay, so if I click Social Rabbit, now honestly, I mean Social Rabbit gets mixed review reviews. Honestly, I like it. Okay, um, and I would recommend having it. Um, as you can see from here, I have Facebook and Instagram on. All right, so it auto posts for me on uh, you. You set the timelines. Okay, and let's take Instagram for example. Okay. Once you go in here, you can set your posting activity. Okay, like you can pretty much set all this stuff. Okay, what hashtags you want to use, what timeline, and even your gallery. Okay, it um, these are all random comments that it will post along with um, pictures that you can choose to put in here. Okay, so this is how you can control your social media online you know automatically once you put in all this stuff here it'll post for you automatically so that's how over the last few months i've been just letting my store grow on social media by having this tool just auto post on a regular basis okay so on instagram i've got like 2000 followers on facebook i've got like 200 followers um and you know i've not had to um work on that actively so to say and you can do even the same thing on facebook okay all right. I mean, uh, even with the package that I bought, I got a Facebook page, you know, Instagram profile, Twitter account and everything. All right. Um, and then, you know, depending on the niche that you're in, um, certain social media channels will be important. Like, for example, if it's a e-commerce store, then um, Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest are uh, important. Twitter, not so much, maybe. I mean, depending if you're in the US and stuff like that, where um, Twitter is actively used then I would recommend it but I don't really want to you want or I prefer to use Twitter um, you know snapchat wouldn't make sense for an e-commerce store um, so yeah I mean you can research various uh, niches and stuff in your own time and there's a lot of information online and getting one the one that I chose was uh, you know a beach store life's one beach.com <laughs> if you get it um so why i chose that is because you know i'm i'm passionate about it i like going to the beach i always enjoy um uh, um the beach and uh, i mean uh, i would suggest also picking a niche that you like okay 
uh, that way it it, it makes it, it makes doing this uh, a lot more fun all right so the next thing i'd like to talk about is uh, you know products okay so the package that i bought they load 200 products for you okay and then um from their plugin okay which is over here you have this tab called import products okay so when you hit use direct import okay it takes you to the aliexpress website all right so here there are uh, a few things that i would like you to know which are important okay so first thing is now okay so i'm in the beach niche right so let's type in like bikini okay so what i would recommend here is first you know taking time to research uh, products all that are already high selling okay and uh, from good sellers okay so the sellers they need to be they need to have good ratings and they need to uh, you know have been active for at least two to three years or i mean if you're if you're really um you know particular about it you can choose uh, sellers that have been around for at least five years you know that way you know that they are credible um check their ratings if they have high ratings then you know that your products will get uh, i mean your orders will get executed you know and um, and i mean if, if if a seller i mean has good ratings and has been around for five years then you can i mean you know that uh, the seller is not selling um you know bad quality stuff basically so I've searched for bikini right now I would what I would do is select orders so that I can see which products are high selling so you can see the number of orders that have been placed here right so you need to spend some time doing this research seeing what kind of products are selling okay and then um, all you do is click this button for the product to get imported into um, into your store okay it's as simple as that uh, of course you need to have the um, like I'm using a Chrome browser and the AliExpress uh, plugin is installed in the Chrome browser for me. Okay, so then it lets you do this. And while you're doing this, make sure that the sellers have ePacket. Okay, now ePacket is important because um, um, I mean it's a credible way of shipping the product and you have tracking information. That way you know where your product is and you know because most of the time you're buying these products from China and like for me for example I focus on selling my products in the us because their mailing system is good okay um i mean although i have got orders from various part of the world like the other day i got a you know order from finland um but luckily it was an e-packet seller and the product reached uh, the seller um without any problems you know you also have a tab here and you have shipping from united states and china so i would suggest checking out both places if you choose sellers from united states and are shipping to the united states you can um you know get the products to your customers in a short amount of time so you know they'd be happy about that but um the downside is that you won't have uh, a range of choices of products to choose from right so so yeah i mean this is the part that needs a, a little research but if it's products and stuff you like then i mean it's 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 fun i mean i have fun just researching what's out there what's good and uh, you know i have all sorts of beach products on my website okay um so yeah that's about you know that's some tips and tricks for you to choose good products okay so let's let's take an example now all right so let's let's click this so that it gets imported into uh into the store so what does it look like now all right so go to import list after you have chosen your products and it comes right here so you can see that i have 322 products now okay because one is on the import list now from here you can go in and edit all of this you can edit the um the the title the pictures um always import the reviews from um, aliexpress so that it's shown on your website as well and you can change your markup and stuff like that it's pretty straightforward okay once you play around with the website a little bit you'll get a hang of it guaranteed okay so i'm just going to go ahead and delete this because i don't want to make changes to my website okay but that's how you import a product it's very simple okay um and then um let me show you a little bit about the dropship plugin itself okay i mean how you can track your um so you can see here i've had an order placed with me this month okay um the this many number of visitors 
have visited my website so far the number of products and stuff okay you also have reports that are generated automatically okay from here um, this is your marketing um, tab okay so here is you where you have your email list okay I don't want to show you guys that too much <laughs> all right and uh, the other good thing is that what um, sorry what Aliexpress does for you is um, they uh, they already have an auto poster embedded into the uh, into your plugin into your, your website so basically if a seller has visited your website okay and um, has chosen not to buy but has filled in the details then uh, automatically the emails will be sent as well to the um, to the seller you know reminding them that you have left something in the cart and you can set up an email responder for like seven days which is also good so let's go to settings over here okay so this shows you all your details all right and um, okay here's where you have your customization of course all right So these are all the images that I have on my home page. I can I can change them from here. So you can, even though you don't have, like I don't have IT background, I don't have programming background or anything, but from here I can easily edit my website. They make it really simple. All right. Honestly, I had I had no knowledge of even WordPress before I bought this website. But it's it's honestly it's very very simple to use. Okay, so pretty much in a nutshell, I mean, that's what, you know, dropshipping is all about. I mean, you know, I've, I've had this store for about, a, you know, just a few months and I haven't really been that active, active on it, so to say, because I was focusing on some other lines of business. But, you know, with the auto posting, I've received, you know, a whole bunch of orders just, you know, randomly. You know, I don't even know how customers ended up on, you know, purchasing from my website, but they did. And... You know, sometimes I just wake up on the, in the morning and I see a couple of orders on my phone. I mean, it's such a great feeling, you know, having not even uh, focused on the website so much. But I mean, it's a it's a good. Uh, I mean, I know if I focus on it, I can obviously grow it, which I plan to do. That's why I have uh, made this video for you guys today. Um, but yeah, so I don't want to take up too much time and um, you know um, talk about stuff that's not relevant. Okay, but um, you know, I wish you guys all the best in your drop shipping journey if you ever plan to get started. Um, again, find the link below um, where you can click and it will take you to the website where you can get started and um, you know, feel free to reach out to me uh, if you need any help or uh, if you have any questions or something like that, I'll be happy to answer it. All my details are below. All right. So just take a read and um, and yeah, enjoy guys. See you.